Hi, I got a great deal on Facebook Marketplace for these uh, goose shells. However, they didn't come with a steak. Uh, there was 15 of them. They were in pretty good shape overall. But like I said, they were missing a steak. I need to come up with a solution for that. So that's today's project is creating the steaks um, for putting these uh, goose shells into the ground and holding them in the proper spot. So for this um, project, we're going to need some kind of rod. I got these rods off of the political sign posts. Um, just picked the length, I cut them all to it. I have 16 of them here. Um, so I'll have one extra at the end. We'll need a couple of drill bits. We will need one drill bit that is smaller than the rod that you have and one drill bit that's a little bit larger. So the smaller one we'll use for the caps. So we're gonna need some caps as well. Um, and then you'll press in um, the, the steel rod to that. And the other one is to drill a hole at the balancing point uh, that's just slightly bigger than the rod so that the uh, goose shell can actually spin on that uh, with the wind. We'll also need some electrical tape and we will need a marker and obviously a drill and then we'll need some caps. We're going to use the Sharpie to mark off the same spot for each one of the stakes. And it chose to go down um, a little bit of distance here because what I really wanted was with the cap on it. I still wanted some of the uh, posts to be sticking up above the goose silhouette. That way in case the wind came under it and rose it up that it wouldn't fall off of the stake. So all we do here is create our little mark, grab our electrical tape. We'll go around the mark. And then we'll rip off about a foot of tape. And we'll just start spinning that right on top of itself. And what we're looking to create here is just a stopper for the cap so the cap doesn't fall down and slide down the, the stake. And it turns out that about a foot of electrical tape will make a plenty big enough stop. So, and once you get down to the end, rip it off, keep it tight. And now you have a nice stopper there. You can pretty much use whatever kind of cap that you have on hand. So here we have a uh, soda bottle cap, 20 ounce we call it pop where I'm from. Here is a milk cap, a water bottle cap, a large Gatorade cap, and a smaller Gatorade cap. Uh, what I wanted to do was just a little bit bigger than a bottle cap. I thought it might give it a bit more support underneath of there. However, I thought maybe the big Gatorade cap might be a little bit too big. Uh, and if you look at a 20 ounce bottle cap is pretty solid. A milk cap is not so solid, water bottle cap not, but the Gatorade caps are really durable, really solid. Um, I just happen to have quite a few of these uh, and they're also in that medium range. So that's the one I'm gonna go with. I did a couple of tests on just to make sure that it would work uh, with a couple of different kind of caps. But uh, for my final project, I'd like to have them all be the same. Doesn't really matter if they are or not but uh, I have enough of these and they're medium size and they're really sturdy, so that's what we're gonna go with. If you use a drill bit just slightly less uh, diameter than the rod that you're using, you'll be able to push that through the cap with no problem. The original holes on the shells were right on the top here, rather large hole, and also one in the back. So it obviously had a um, lever that came out to the side that actually kept it sturdy. So hopefully you can see that, the large hole in the top, the small hole in the back. Uh, but if we were to go ahead and use this small hole in the front, and if we put the stake on that, it wouldn't be level. Uh, it wouldn't be balanced. So we need to find a new spot. And you can kind of get an idea with your finger where that new spot's going to be. 
just until you kind of balance it and then figure out where that spot is going to be on the top of that. So on this one, it looks like if we cut just below this feather pattern here, drill a hole right there, uh, that we should be on the money. So let's give that a try and try that out. Here's one where we drilled the hole at that feather pattern just above it. And as you can see, put that on the finger, it's much more balanced there. Well, I would show you this last part outside, but it's Michigan here in the winter and it's frozen out there. But here's the cap. As you can see, it's on pretty tight because we drilled that hole a little bit smaller. We push it down until it stops at the uh, electrical tape stopper we put on. And then we would put this stake into the ground. So obviously we put the stake in until it's just a little bit above the ground. And then if the wind blew it around a little bit, it could create some uh, artificial movement there. So looks like it worked out pretty well.